All right, you guys, so uh, hi. You guys probably just watched my video on uh, basically my ways that I travel. Um, and I travel for cheap, 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 cheap. So, but now for the reason why everyone wants to know why are you in Boston? Uh, your girl is still married, okay? I'm married! Oh my God, I'm married. Um, yeah, I'm married, honey. So I'm going to uh, court tomorrow on Tuesday and Dayo is gonna meet me tomorrow at court and um, we are going to get divorced right then and there. Boop, 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 boop. So I'm here to get a divorce. Happy divorce. Woo! Finally. Yay. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to move forward with my life. I'm ready to close that chapter and move on to a new time and place and mine or in my life. In my life. In my life. So I'm here being a person that I need to be and getting divorced. Okay? Um, so that's what I'm doing or whatever. So yeah. But um I'm driving and I wanna focus on the road and it's cold. Oh look at this. We're in the city. Welcome back to Boston. Boston, Boston. Boston. It's crazy after all this time, my soon to be ex husband is the person who knows me the most in life still. So I get off the plane right away. I'm going to get my Uber, and the first person who calls me as soon as I get off the plane didn't even tell him what time my plane leaves or lands or arrives, anything. But after all those years of flying back and forth from Florida from when we before we got married He knows if I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna get here around 12 1 o'clock And as soon as I got off the plane as soon as I land as soon as I touch down I get a Hey, you here? You know, but he thought we were gonna go to court today, but we're going to court tomorrow. So whatever, but it's so funny how he just like Knows still to this day Hello, season's greetings, salutations. All right, so this is my outfit. I'm gonna be wearing my white jacket that I was wearing yesterday with these pants or whatever, but this is my outfit for today. What is today? Today is divorce day. So I'm going to court today to get divorced, of course. Um, so yeah, so. I went to go see Brittany yesterday. I went to go see my uh, uh, nieces yesterday and then today. So I am, um, I have all my paperwork signed or whatever. We just have to go get it notarized and D just has to sign it or whatever. He's going to meet me at court today. Um, so this should be interesting. Um, but cute though. So, you know, how to hit him with the, hey, reading divorce. <laughs> Bam, honey, you know, like, you cheated though. <laughs> but I'm cute though, so, <laughs> really. <laughs> I digress. But um, yeah, so I am headed to, well, I'm in Waltham or whatever. And I am headed to the bank right now to pull out some money. And then I gotta head to Cambridge and whatnot. Um, and it's so crazy because I lived in Massachusetts for so long that I don't really need a GPS. I just drive and go because I lived here, you know? Um, and it's just like I never left, but I left, um, so. And I don't regret it at all. Like, I have no regrets of leaving at all. Like, it looks beautiful now that it's all green, but a few months from now, this will be dried up and snowy. And it's cold this morning, so thank God I have my coat, but my outfit is gonna look so cute with my coat. Let me show you. And, oh. <laughs> and bam. Okay. Hi, Judge. <laughs> you know, okay? Because I can't go to the courthouse with no tube top on. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so, you know, I had to do my thing. But, you know, for me, I only, 
brought a small backpack. So in bringing a small backpack and packing, um, you know, you have to um, be able to interchange your outfits to the best of your ability with, so I did colors that I could use to be able to switch and switch and switch. You know, so I did just that. Oh, my ear itches is so bad. Okay. So later on today, after I see, um, after I leave court or whatever, I'm gonna go see my brother. <clears throat> and so, yeah, you probably won't see Dion here. So the next clip you'll probably see is either me leaving the courthouse talking about what happened. Um, I've been talking to Dante, you know, my best friend Dante, all morning. So he is on, literally on call because last night I told myself I don't know if I can handle this. It's not that I. Did they? Did they move the bank? Whoa. Did they move the bank? I think they moved the bank. That's crazy. If I didn't look over here, I would have never saw that Bank of America was moved. That's so crazy. Okay. They moved the bank. Um. Wow. Okay. They moved the bank. This is new. Um. Yeah. But he's on call just in case I um, cause right now I'm handling myself really good it's the the issue is not right now the issue is is um you know going to be um the issue is just gonna be how I'm gonna react after. And it's not because I still love D. The issue is all the history. And, um, you know, I literally met D when we were like 14. And, and so I fell in love with him at 15. And I took his virginity and the memories and that's the issue you know it's not um you know it's all the good stuff in between of that th those moments of adultery and you know but it's all the and um there's there's no one in this world that's hurt me as bad as D but at the same time there's no one in this world that has loved me liked D has loved me when he loved me so and you can be like well how did he love you because he committed adultery like before all that you know for all the abuse before all the adultery you know like all the time spent and all you know the good memories and the laughs and the jokes and the you know knowing each other and taking the time to study me no one's done that you know besides D no one studied me like D studied me no one took that time to understand me like D took that time to understand me so that see um is the hard part the hard part is not um the hard part is not the divorce or wanting to be done the hard part is just the, the history the good history, the good moments. I think that's the hardest part. Woo! The hard part. So. Is, um. Is the goodbye. The final goodbye. Like. When it really hits you, it's just like, you know, everyone always, they're going to get back together. They love each other. They're always going to get back together. They're always, they are always going to get back together. But we're not. Like our saying was always and forever. This is not forever. 
Oh, I'm cute this morning. Don't do it. And that's the hardest part. It's not forever. And that's the hardest part. So here we go. Time for the hard part. 